Hi guys, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today we'll be showing you gaming on the uh, Moto X. So the Moto X has that new X8 processor, it's got two gigs of RAM, but how well does it actually handle gaming? Now, the X8 processor really isn't a new processor. It's actually a processor system set that they've done. They've got a dual core um, GP, uh, AP, uh, sorry, dual core um, processor, Snapdragon processor. It's got a quad core uh, GPU and it's got two other processors in there for some other specific tasks at hand. So let's go ahead and check out the first game we're gonna look at and we'll tell you if it runs warm, how well it handles, all that fun stuff. And we're gonna look at uh, Dungeon Hunters 4. So come bring this in a little bit closer. Head back and jump into the game. Turn this down just a bit so we don't get any volume interference. So, I can't remember where I'm supposed to go to in this stage. Okie dokie. See, one thing you notice with the game though is that it actually run it runs very smooth. Uh, face no issues whatsoever um, while gaming with this and um, and I've enjoyed it quite well uh, the other thing too is to note is that the uh, the way that the, um, the device is shaped allows for you to actually hold it pretty well it rests well in your hand so it does they do a pretty good job there um, with it ah, some more demons come on come out let's fight and so, so far, so good. Handles well with Monster Dungeon Hunters 4. So let's check out something else. All right, here's another game, Real Racing uh, 3 from EA. We're doing head-to-head. -head. Um, just show you some of the, uh, you know, racing dynamics with this, uh, with the uh, Moto X. All right. You can see the graphical fidelity of the game. Looks pretty good. Yes, I am winning. Well, I'm ahead so far. I wish you could actually accelerate in this game and not. Whoa, that's really tight turn right there. And not just do the auto drive sequence that the CPU does for you, but so far I'm in the lead, so I can't complain about that. But you can see how. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Handle, handle, handle. There we go. Nice. Uh, that's crappy. It's not good. I'm gonna let that French guy take over. Nope able to ah oh, come on just do a lap and then well it's head to head so it's just pretty much one lap let's see if we can actually win the finish line pretty soon come on there we go so you can see how sharp and vibrant that looks uh, let's check out uh, a couple more games um, what about modern combat 4 so we have modern combat 4 here and again this handles pretty well now, one thing I noticed with the Moto X compared to other smartphones is that it actually doesn't run hot while you're gaming. So you don't get that whole, you know, my device is burning up, feels like it's going to kill me. I'm holding something radioactive feel to it. It actually feels uh, pretty, just warm, not hot. So that's pretty cool that you get that. Come on, die, dude. Bad guys don't want to die. There we go. Yeah. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's 
sequence. Oops, should not be stuck in the line of fire. There we go, so that's Modern Combat 4, and we got one more game for you to show you. And here we have Robot Attack Unicorn 2. I've been playing this game for a couple of days now, and I am completely addicted. Uh, Overall, uh, the Moto X does a fantastic job in gaming. No slowdowns at all. Uh, I haven't noticed any with any game I've played. And um, the system doesn't run hot, which is good, because most uh, devices while you're gaming, it actually runs very hot, you know, while gaming. So that can be an issue, an annoyance. And in terms of battery life, um, it's much better than uh, what I've seen with other um, smartphones. Still, gaming will drain your battery life no matter how you look at it. It's just the way it is. And um, something that, you know, you can't uh, get away from. But, ouch, I just died. But anyway, uh, that's just giving you a, a good look at the gaming aspects of the Moto X. Uh, does a very good job. The quad GPU, uh, I think, does a solid job in making sure that gaming is uh, it's not an issue. The system, in terms of heat, doesn't run as hot as you would expect. It runs fairly warm, and that's about it. That's the most you get from it. So uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments about gaming on the Moto X, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.